two different types of coffee filters. I'll show you their differences in terms of making coffee, how it tastes, and how to clean them. Uh, we have the conical stainless steel shape. This is just one piece. There's a coarse mesh and a fine mesh inside. But at the mouth though, it is coarse mesh and then fine mesh on the outside. It's the opposite. So the sides are different from the mouth. And we got the classic Vietnamese coffee filter. And this comes in several parts. We got the cover, we have the press, and we have the container and the dish. You notice that there's filters throughout. There's three layers of filtering. And this is to help evenly distribute water. Uh, the cover can also act as a little tray where you put in the dish right afterwards to stop it from spreading all over. This one, I don't know where I have to, I have to grab a separate plate to uh, hold this. Actually, that reminds me, let me just, uh, grab this here just in case. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use uh, Mr. Viet uh, Real Strong Coffee. This is uh, from Vietnam. Uh, they interestingly recommended putting three tablespoons of coffee powder in there. Um, I'm going to put in three teaspoons because uh, tablespoon seems way too much. And it's, it's the same thing. You put in a bit of water first to let it bloom as in soak in the water uh, for a few seconds or a minute and then you put in the rest of the water and this is the same thing for that as well uh, you let it soak and so that prevents the water from going through it quickly so let's just do that oops hold on one You can see that, and it has a little interesting uh, aerator there to keep it dry. Let me put in the two, three teaspoons each. Two, three heaps of teaspoons. One, two, three. One, two, three. And when you press it down, you don't have to press it really hard. They say, not a hundred, just add a little tap, that's it. So the water is done boiling. I've popped it on the scale so I could measure how much water I've placed. So you put in 20 mils, which is around 20 grams of water, and leave it there for about 30 seconds. And I did that for both. This process is called blooming. It swells up the grains and it slows the water down in the second pour. Okay, coffee is done blooming. I'm going to put in 40 grams of water in there. So the three-tier filter I mentioned in the Vietnamese coffee filter enables a consistent slow drip. Whereas on the conical filter, it starts out with drips and then dribbles and it starts dripping again, making it very uneven. Okay, it looks like it's done. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to pop, it's just clinging onto the walls. And you have this much. And let me just pop this off. You see, take this tray, put it down. And you could take this whole thing. Got to be careful because it's hot. In the taste test, I found the conical filter to be more bitter. I think it's because the water is allowed to freely flow through the grains and agitate it and swirl around. Whereas in the Vietnamese coffee filter, we have a top cover that prevents the agitation from happening. And reducing the contact temperature, which makes the bitter tones harder to come out of the grains. You can tweak them to match each other in taste by changing the temperature of the water or the amount. Keeping with local traditions, I've added condensed milk. And even with a teaspoon of condensed milk, um, the bitterness of the conical filter also is present. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Some people might actually like the bitter taste, making it uh, richer or fuller. And what's great about these is that you don't need a paper filter. And then you're done. It's a 
chewy in the drain. Up in the rack. And then, oh, there's some left. And there, you can see sediments on this. Yeah, there's sediments. So this took a little longer to rinse out because you got several parts, but this is a lot more portable. If I were to bring it to the office, this is easier to bring to the office. And it's compact as well. It doesn't take up that much space. All right, I hope you enjoy this comparison and, um, and just enjoy coffee. Uh, it doesn't matter what filter types you are. You can always experiment. It's always subjective. What coffees do you like? Just leave in the comment box below. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.